two, and welcome back. How's everyone getting on? Hello, 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 Hi. hello. Hi, how are you? Good. So today we're joined by Steve again. Great to have you again. And Thank beside you. him there is Roxy Goldby. Uh, you're a new addition to his, uh, his skits and all that. So how are you getting on, guys? Good, good, good. Yeah, good. Can't complain. Well, we can, but like, there's no point. Everyone's in the same situation, <laughs> isn't it? With COVID and all yeah, this. There you so. go. It's, yeah. It's getting annoying now, isn't it? I mean, oh, what was it? We're, ju we're just into like level two, and then they're like, talk about level four, level five. All right. Level, level 4.5, yeah. level 3.725. Oh, it's just the whole lot. In and out of lockdowns for the rest of our lives. That's That seems to be Basically the. Basically, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, sure, we'll get past it. But I suppose it's hard to stay motivated and stay happy at the moment, but uh, even entertained. But then some of your skits are, you know, helping people through that. Like the McGregor one fairly recently had me have a few chuckles. And Thank you. Yeah, so fair play to you. So, Roxy, we haven't uh, had you on the show before, so could you introduce yourself? Okay, well, I'm Roxy Goldby. I'm the new character to Michael's New World, well, Mad World. I recently joined there the end of October, I think. I think I'm just slowly. It doesn't seem. <laughs> but surely getting used to it. It's not a long time, but it seems so long. It does seem so long. Yeah. It does, doesn't it? Groany, long, and drop. I mean, uh, yeah, shut up it's now. been a pleasure having you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, a fair play to you. Um, you know, last time we talked, Evo, uh, I think same day you, you were thinking about. Just giving it up, but then yeah, I, just, uh, I think I want. I just wanted to pack it in. I was fed up of it, and I was fed up of doing it. And I was just like, and then I kind of like I thought I was thinking about it for a while, and then I was just like, yeah, I'm just gonna give it up. I just I'm tired of doing it. I don't see any future in it. And then you kind of you think for a while, and then you're like, what else can I do now? What else do I do? Like I could go back to college and do a PhD in philosophy. And you'd be like, yeah, I'd probably end up one of those old lecturers wandering around the hallways talking to himself. You know, so I like, yeah, and plus PhD isn't easy work. So I was like, no. mm. do I want to do that? Do I want to get back into that wreck the head philosophical world? So I thought, no, nah, I, I can create my little bits of philosophy into the sketches. So Yeah, but it's, it's a big jump, uh, the idea of uh, like uh, skits and being a comedian and then for... PhD in philosophy. That's that's a big that's a big jump there, but look, good, glad you're back at it. It's uh, it's entertaining Thank stuff. You. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? Uh, what made you change your minds? Uh, just as I said, what like it's what I do. It's what brings me joy, and it's like it's my hobby as well as my my, I suppose my work and things. So it's like, yeah, there's no work in it now, but you're still doing it and I suppose it, it brings me joy to bring joy to people. Yeah. I find it hard to find like, I suppose this, this fool's gold of happiness. So through others, making others happy, you attain a bit of that and you get to give what you find hard to attain to them. Yeah. And you've had a bit of trouble, uh, Platforming that recently, haven't you? With the yeah, whole Facebook getting shut down. Yeah, I was taken on a false positive uh, satire, taken as literal, which is really strange. And then I was destroyed by the far right for uh, criticizing their right to, uh, freedom of speech because that that's what really annoyed me, being lumped in with them. That annoyed me more than anything. What, people associating you with the far right? No, just the fact that my page was removed for hate speech. Oh. So automatically, like I was associated with them like if any human ever sat down to watch like my black lives matter video or, or any of them would go all right 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 yeah i get it, i get it you know but it just seems to be bots targeting certain keywords and things like that and that's yeah worked. so it's a restricted now because i want to i put up a video that we should kill all the old people and that's how we move beyond corona and it was a more of a like a an homage to Jonathan Swift, a modest proposal where he suggested eating the young, eating uh, young Irish people to stave off famine. So yeah, that's what I was more or less getting at. But that was that was flagged as well. So you know what I mean? Yeah, it's that's... 
it's very funny how humor is taken these days. So it's sort of like satire, but you do. You make fun of stuff and people take it way too literally. It's Yeah, yeah. And like it's like obviously I do I do brash fucking toilet humor as well. Like it's not super but it's some of them there's a I wouldn't even say a hidden message. There's a blatant message. Yeah. Racists will find it funny because they don't realise they're being pulled the piss out of, but mm. people with a modicum of intelligence would say, All right, okay, yeah, he's he's yeah. he's playing the character and he's he's increased like he's exaggerating them to comical scale mm. and then there was that thing of people not being able to to like separate you from the character yeah and, yeah. yeah it's not I, still get that sometimes. I find that crazy people actually generally think i'm your daughter yeah that yeah. is the weirdest thing ever There's are you not there's like literally three years between us yeah yeah so it's yeah, impossible. it's really strange. Yeah, yeah. it is. Yeah. It's madness. It's just madness when people come over and I, I speak to them and I'm relaxing and they're like, they're almost like disgusted with me. You know, <laughs> you lied to me. You're a phony. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you don't shout all the time. What? Yeah. yeah. You, know, you know what? You know what scared me the first time you're on? How quiet you are. Yeah, yeah I am pretty quiet. Yeah. I'm quite, like, I'm. I can be loud around people like I know and stuff, but if I'm in a crowd of strangers, I'm very quiet, and yeah. I'm very uncomfortable. And I, I will sit next to like, if I say going to something with Roxy, and like her family or a lot of her friends, I'd sit near to her because I know her. You know, I'd be yeah. kind of yeah. uncomfortable and kind of quiet no, until I get. Yeah. But no, it, it was a bit people funny. Just, people assume I'm going to kick in a door and run into a room <laughs> shouting, contact a four-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. No, no. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping you don't, in all fairness. <laughs> so, Roxy, how, how did you get involved in this? Because, you know, Kathleen left and then it was Steve by himself and, well, he was thinking yeah. about ending it and then now you're here. Yeah, so basically, Steve put up a post looking for someone to start a new character, and I just replied saying, "Here, I'll do it." Literally, that's what I said. I'll do it. Yeah. And you were like, "Are you serious?" Was yeah. Like, yeah. It wasn't based on her good looks or anything. And you guys know each other? <laughs> Did you know each other beforehand? Uh, I used to hang around with her uncle, so I know her family, but I didn't know her. I knew of her, but I didn't know her. Mm. Yeah, we kind of. Like, we probably would have met when we were kids, which is really weird, because she grew up in the around same. the back of my estate, and I hung around with her uncle around that time. Mm. But I wouldn't really have remembered her, because years and years, years ago. Years right? and years and so, years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So we knew of each other, but didn't know each other, that kind of way. Yeah. yeah. But he says, are you serious? I says, yeah. So we arranged to meet that Sunday. Yeah, and I had we a just... rough sketch in my head, and yeah. I just threw it out, and you took to it. Yeah. And you didn't so... mess it up. No, yeah. no, it hasn't. <laughs> so, so, and we just pulled it up to see how it, what, what the reaction was, and the reaction was great. So yeah, we're like, yeah. okay, yeah. this has something. Huh. And then the page got taken off. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> just, as, just as we like passed, I think, 400,000 views, and then I wake up to a, a status saying, your page has been unpublished. And I was like, oh, what the hell? I remember no, getting that message and I was like, what? Yeah, it was, oh my God. Like, it was just so disheartening and so yeah. depressing. Especially because how much work you put into it. Like, you, you oh spent a couple yeah, of years yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah. The amount of work I put into that page and building it up and, you know, it's just... And like 95% of ticket sales would be through Facebook. So once that's gone, live shows are gone. You're, you're, yeah. it, it's realistically, you're finished. And I wouldn't mind then, like, I, I calculated, I went to Facebook ads and I calculated what I spent last year. And it was nine grand, over nine grand last year on ads. Oh, and it's like, right, so I'm on your platform making you money, making Facebook money, because you don't get paid from Facebook. Yeah. And I'm also paying them money. So, you know, like, then you remove me. You know, it's, it's like, it's, it's just it's nonsensical. Madness. Yeah, what's Absolutely. the story there? Yeah. Get the priority sorted. Well, I yeah. got it back on there, so. Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what was the story in the end? Uh, a false positive satire taken as literal. Okay. And then they flagged the video about 
killing the old people to get rid of coronavirus and that's flagged now but they didn't unpublish the page but they've it restricted and right. if you you know facebook you know their their organic reach is what five percent or something it's done so with, that, with that restricted you know like uh, like i'm down to about if you're passing twenty thousand views now on a video you're doing very very well because mm -hmm. it's so so but you just have to keep plowing on and yeah. you know so at the moment you're making a transition into youtube instead yeah i just think it's like i'll still put them on facebook but i concentrate on youtube more so on targeting targeting my videos more so to the youtube kind of crowd mm. so what's it been like trying to learn all the youtube bits and bobs because it's very complicated yeah it's kind of i'm just getting to terms with it really because youtube was kind of always my weakest thing and then my subscribers just blew up and i'm near 350,000 now and it's kind of like yeah i need to start doing this a bit more seriously and you know paying a bit more attention to the demographics and you know all that kind of stuff so yeah, yeah. So I to take take a i suppose a back seat for a while i just post the videos as a youtube link on facebook which cuts the 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 reach even more so like a link is the lowest you'll get mm -hmm. i think it's, what is it it's video picture text link that's usually the yeah it's pretty bad <laughs> And it's plus, it's low text, you're pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. And plus, like, YouTube is Facebook's competition, so they're going, they're going to hinder its, its reach. Yeah. Mm. Well, it looks like YouTube's winning that anyway, so you may stick to them. Yeah. Stick with the winner. But um, yeah, yeah. And has it helped? Uh, has it helped having a second person there? So like, you're not doing all the work by yourself. Oh, definitely. Because Michael doesn't really work on his own. You need a straight man. You have to have a straight man. It doesn't work otherwise because where's the voice to reason? Where's the vo where's the logical voice? Yeah, because it's the one thing to have you like going crazy in a car by yourself, but then to have someone there as well. Yeah, you need <laughs> you need that person to speak for both of us and how we really feel. And obviously, Michael can do that as well. Sometimes, like I do the under the breath thing, where I'll be giving out about something and then I'll kind of under my breath I'll go. Well, no, it's, 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 it's. Anyway, you know, you, me will come out for. For a brief two or three seconds, second. yeah, just to almost self correction in the middle of a rant, just to make sure it's almost like on, you know, so just to let the let the people know, but yeah, yeah. And how much has COVID affected your viewership? Has it gone up like because people are at home, or has it gone down? Uh, it's not really affected it much, the no. restriction affected it greatly, yeah, but otherwise, it was just it was really the same, the same really. Like. People didn't want COVID videos, though. Well, That's yeah. for sure. They didn't want anything that reminded them of COVID. Yeah. Sure, isn't there a Michael Bay film coming out now about, like, COVID in, like, 2023? Where it's like, if you're caught outside your house, they'll just shoot you. It's literally the plot of the film. Oh, I do remember I played, but I showed you the ad for it. I think so. That was, like, a, two, three weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should watch that that's big, isn't it? That's, yeah, like, that's, that's coming in the new year, in all fairness. Yeah, we can go out shooting old people then, and we'll take my video as <laughs> literal <laughs> advice from, like, from oh, Dr. Hulen. Yeah, no, it, it, is, uh, it, it is crazy. And you've seen the thing with the UK, and it's getting a bit worse. Yeah, they yeah. A new strain or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 People that's... can't fly home or get the ferry home now. It's, oh, yeah. The rest of the UK are banned from coming into Ireland. Yeah, it's mad. Like, it's yep. crazy. Take, take, take a holiday to uh, Spain or whatever, get a flight back and get a flight then from Spain to Dublin, your grand, or to Belfast. Yeah. Stop giving people ideas. Yeah, but people yeah. will do it. <laughs> like, if I was away from home and my elderly relatives are looking forward to me coming home from Christmas, I'm going You're home. You're going to do it. I don't care. Yeah. 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 Uh, honest to God. You and then you, you tell them off. It's rough because like we we all spend so much time at home, you know, trying to beat this, and then got to the level two, and they're like, yeah, let, let's up it up again. Yeah, yeah. Like, it feels like it's going to be a constant wave of, okay, complete lockdown, little bit of room, numbers yeah. go up, less room, uh, completely yeah. open. Yeah. Back lockdown. Yeah. Like we have like level three light, and then we have like you know level four light, level three heavy. Yeah, it's just weird. So, you know, yeah. I mean, welcome to month nine of a 
three week lockdown. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. it rains, isn't it? It's a bit weird. Yeah, but it's crazy. <laughs> we're, we're getting through it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it gives you time to write, think of new uh, content, blah blah blah. Yeah, well, I have a song. I have a song written, and I'm doing the video for tomorrow in the middle of a bog, and I'm going to be pushing my wheelchair up a like a bog road, topless. So that's going to be fun into film, and I'm going to probably die of hypothermia tomorrow. So. More than likely. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> freezing outside. That's, what that's are you doing? Well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I want to. I want it to because it's a sad kind of song. So I want it to be yeah. sh- the struggle of me trying to push the wheelchair towards the camera. It's it's kind of a we're doing it in a novel way. It'll be just me to camera coming from a far distance towards the camera, and then the camera takes off and it shows the the barren nature of where I am. And kind of, you'll, you'll have to see it for yourself. But uh, your man that's doing the video, he understood what I. I like mentioned. the idea of it already. Huh? I like the idea of it already. Thank you. He was able to like drag out of my brain what I had envis- envisaged. So <laughs> if someone can do that, then I'm, I'm more than willing to work with them. Well, there you go. <laughs> and, you know, speaking of a couple of struggles, there was a documentary came out about you fairly recently. Yeah. It was quite, how, uh, how did that even get started? Like, did, did someone approach you about making a documentary? Uh, we kind of thought of it ourselves, and uh, Jared Walsh from Dublin kind of said, like, there was a lot of people that were asking us about it and stuff, and uh, we just said, let's do it. Let's follow us around for a while and let's do it and do a kind of a documentary about the behind the scenes and about my my life struggles and about kind of my depression and panic disorder and things like that and then that kind of took a back burner because TG Carher got in contact and they've done a documentary and that's out in February so they'll be on the, the television, the telefiche. Yeah, well, <laughs> you may check it out. And what, what's it about exactly? Uh, the one for TG Carher is mainly, it's primarily about my crash, about the crash I had in 2005 and the after effect of that and what led to that and kind of mostly revolving around that. You yeah. See that. Yeah. 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 We we kind of forgot to ask you about that last time you were on. Would you mind telling the story? Uh, I had a motorbike crash in 2005 and broke my neck and my back and a few other, a few other little bones that didn't matter in the, the long term. Little, but little yeah. bones. Little bones. Well, like when you have spinal damage, ankles and collarbones don't really matter because they're they're fixable you know what I mean yes but spinal cord is not fixable so I've uh, limited sensation of mobility from my chest down so I walk with crutches or I use a wheelchair usually crutches yeah mm. and has it gotten any easier uh not really but it hasn't gotten much harder either yeah okay well, remember, I guess that kind of helps. remember last time you were on, we were talking about your charity cycle you did. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was awesome. How how many how long how long did you was it five k? Five k, yeah, uh, twelve and a half laps to the track. So, I, it's a miracle I didn't die. Yeah, probably a few people of the that were watching on the live stream are probably like, fall, fall, fall. <laughs> <laughs> you already yeah. raised the money, just die now. <laughs> I was yeah. one of them. You probably are, yeah. <laughs> I, I was saying this to some of my friends after we had the first interview. People give you a lot of shtick for nothing. Like, yeah. if, if you can't get over the, the fact that it's, you, you don't mean what you're saying, it's a fucking joke. Like, come on. Yeah. yeah. People just think I am the character or I am just some kind of, I don't know. It's It's really weird. Like, I suppose if they looked into me for maybe, 10 seconds they go yeah. oh right jesus yeah he uses a wheelchair he's like you know his, his father jamie you know disability in the family and the fact that i went out and cycled a bike for charity and do other things for charity like jeez i might give him a fucking break you know but they don't they yeah. just back and like set up fake accounts about my brother being a vegetable and it's just like what kind it's of horrible. what kind of horrible people are out there what's, what's that about it's a fake account in your brother. Twitter account like Jamie or something and started sending me pictures of vegetables going, here's your brother. So that's really nice, you know. It's like like people like that, in my opinion, shouldn't even deserve to live. They should be just immediately hung or something or shot. Yeah. You know, they don't 
Like people, what, what, do they, what do they give to society? You know, what do they get out of that? You know, yeah. people, people get so brave behind a screen or a phone yeah, and yeah. it would be a completely different situation if their name yeah. and address was included in their profile picture or something like yeah. that. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like, in all fairness, everything would be different if that was the case. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't think yeah. all people would have social media. Often, like, you know, they never come up and shout in my face what they'd say on yeah. Facebook. You know what I mean? Yeah. Of course. Usually. Yeah. And a lot of them, and a lot of it as well, it's Friday, Saturday night, they're pissed. Your video put, comes up in their timeline, and they're I'm going ranting about this with our message, you know, we're threatening them. And you're like, Jesus Christ, like, your friend shared my video. Sorry, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, what's the damn thing? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, ooh. And the, the internet is mean, man. The fucking, some of the comments you can get are, are absolutely awful. And then when yeah. you get them in the volume you're getting, Oh, you get some creative ones in there. Yeah, usually you can take it, but like obviously you have off days where you feel like shit and it really cuts into you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, if something's bad in the first place and someone calls you a yeah. cunt. You're young. You yeah. know what I mean? It will affect you sometimes. You know, it does get to you. Yeah. And especially with all that's gone on the last few months, that's even exacerbated it because I'm getting the blame for the whole thing. And it's like, you know oh, you got rid of the last one. And it's like, uh, no, no, I didn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I yeah. get the blame for that too. So I get the blame for all of it. You know I see, what I mean? I, see, I think I saw your post where you explained what happened. I think part of the reason is that because all the comments I see on most of your videos are just, where's Kathleen? Or yeah, what happened? Yeah. It's just, it, it probably gets really annoying for you. We're going to get that for the next like six months. Oh yeah, it's constant. Like, and people coming over to the car like a few times today. Like, where's Kathleen? You know, it's just, it's just constant. But like, but the funny thing is, half these people don't even know Kathleen because they be in the car and they'd be like, "Are you Kathleen?" Are you Kathleen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. But like, it's just, I suppose, it was, it was like, I'm out. You deal with the fallout because I'm not going to address it. So I was left to deal with the fallout. And then when I started dealing with it, I was criticized because I was talking about it. And it's like, you can't have a both ways. You know, you can't have a both ways. It has to be addressed. And if you're not going to do it, then I, I feel I have to do it. So yeah. you're just I mean, you know, if you've been asked constantly, you kind of have yeah. to address it. Yeah. And yeah. Her, on her part, she didn't address it. So I was left like with the fallout, you know, which was kind of unfair on me as well. It's like, run, you fucking deal with it, you know? Yeah. She, she was supposed to come on our show about a week after you came on and uh, yeah. it was a bit of a no-show. I'm mm. sure, sure she had a reason, but yeah, that was a bit odd. Um, mm. And what about yourself, Roxy? Have you gotten a bit of uh, love or any hate from the viewers? I don't really read the comments. I kind of condition myself, right, I'm not going to, whether they're good or bad, I'm just not going to entertain it. I did on the first video and there was a lot of creeps. Yeah, it was oh, like yeah. if she was my daughter, I still be bathing her, and it was yeah, all this yeah, kind of yeah. crack. Ah, like, uh, that's oh. come on, oh, oh, yeah. fucking skin crawl. Yeah, yeah. yeah oh. exactly. My sister and my brother messaged me after that one. They were like, <laughs> "Where did this person live?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <We wanted Yeah. laughs> oh, that is awful. Yeah, it's awful. Well, there was a lot. There was a lot of that on the first one, but don't read really them. Yeah, and, and then the whole like. Oh, this is, the new one. this is the new one and uh, accusations of, that I was like, oh, this is why Kathleen and Michael are no longer doing videos because you've cheated with this new one and all this kind of yeah. bullshit. And it was like, just just stop. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not fair. Yeah, so I thought, <laughs> It's amazing that on my page I had to block keywords like Kathleen, Sinead, so on, different spellings of it, different... Well, you actually had to block the words? Yeah, 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 so they won't show up. It'll be, remain hidden, so I won't have okay. to see it. Because it's, it's a source, it's a source spot, you know, and it's, like I, I said, it's you. off the plaster every time, so you, it's hard to deal with, you know, so you just mm -hmm. kind of, because you can't logic it. You can't go, oh, there's the reason, because I was never given a reason, so I don't know why to this day, so, you know. Yeah, and in fairness, like, you, you could put up a post right now and explain the whole thing, as far as you know it. I'm sure there's, here's the thing, like some people aren't going to see it and then it's going to yeah. keep going on. Like how yeah. often do you have to remind people yeah. until everyone if done, stops? If I've done that, then I get criticized from her side for addressing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And let's, let's, 
let's not be mean here, but I could be really mean about it. And yeah. I have, you know, and I haven't and I won't. Yeah, it's best best to be sound. Yeah. 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 Fairness. Yeah. And for yourself, Roxy, have you been thinking about doing um the comedy along with him with the live shows or what's how's yeah, that gonna work? I, I don't even have a choice. I've been yeah. told. <laughs> oh, you've been told. That's, that's <laughs> Yeah. You can't run. You're here now. You have to do it. I'm looking forward to it, though. Yeah. I am looking forward to it. And it's a different world, really. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a lot of live shows coming up. Where are you, where are you doing them? I just two so far. Just uh, Liverpool and uh, Nottingham. 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 In May. But, like, some people have been contacting me going, like, yeah, I'd love to go, but we're not going to buy tickets because we don't know what's the story. So people are apprehensive and they're kind of not willing to go out and buy tickets we kind of can't blame them either yeah. with the situation yeah. yes that's the thing like I, i'd love to go it's only you know literally on the news like two days ago a new strain found in the united kingdom yeah like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah so like people are just people are people are counting their pennies as well because like you know a lot of people are out of work and christmas yeah. as well and you know it's tough yeah oh, that's it's... one thing that's fortunate about being like someone who works on the internet, like yourself, um, you know, when everything was shutting down, you know, you obviously weren't going to be shut down. You can do that stuff from home. So yeah. I'd say that's been fairly handy. Like, like yeah, even yeah. with ourselves, it's kept us busy. And we just and got we, monetized we, recently, so it's helped a little bit. We can travel as well in the restrictions because uh, if, you're making, if you're doing video production or anything that's shown on TV uh, or other media sources and telecommunications like internet, you can we can go to Dublin to shoot a video and come home again. We're really? not under those. Yeah, basically entertainment yeah. purposes. You can as well. Can we actually? There you go. Jesus, yeah. I it's didn't in know. The in the statue, so I looked it cool. up. Right. I didn't know to visit Nanny. All I'd have to do is make a podcast. Jeez, that that's grand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> make a podcast with her, or just film a film a quick sketch with saying hello, to, hello, Granny. There you go. Yeah. And you know, speaking of sketches and dodgy shite um you know what was the story there with yourself uh i get getting raided by the guards <laughs> yeah that was oh, a God, weird that what was in bad. the name of the lord someone complained that i was wearing a guard uniform so they came up to the house eight of them in two squad cars and basically said they had a search warrant and said hand it out or we're searching your house and i was like it's in the closet there you can have it you know what i mean i nearly lost my life because i opened the door to that and then all coming in. <laughs> eight guard car, or eight, eight, eight guards, two guard cars for a guy in a wheelchair. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I think most of them just tagged along to have a look. But still, yeah. it was no. like <laughs> a waste of police time. Yeah, yeah. And the so, like, oh, you, the you know, there's something nice about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. One, or, one, or, mm. one maybe not, but let's not, let's yeah, not so over that. But like, you know, other ones that use a guard sketch in their. Use a guard uniform and their sketches regularly, and I guarantee you, uh, none of their houses were raided. Sure, look at that post that was on Facebook. Have the video between two guards. Yeah, on about a threesome with them. Yeah, and they pulled up in the middle of a traffic thing, used their guard care. They were in uniform. They were on duty. They were on duty for a TikTok. Yeah. But yet me, not taking anything from guard resources. No. Just no, you can't do that. So yeah, so it wasn't an actual guard uh, jacket, was it? Oh, it was, yeah. Uh, <laughs> ah, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> fair enough, like, yeah. Is it, is it like illegal to have one of those or something? It's not if you're using it for for drama or theatrical, you know. So use. they didn't even check? Uh, they still said I shouldn't have had it. And I said, I went down for the interview and I was like, when can I have my stuff back? And he goes, you're not getting it back. And I was there like, I will. So, <laughs> but like a file has been sent to the DPP now, so I could be charged with this. But if they do like it, it'd be the best thing that's happened to me. So hopefully they will. And I suppose you, you took it on the chin and it was a bit of positive uh, stuff with it too. You were saying that it was good publicity. Yeah, it yeah. So I, I, want to, like, I want to find out who the girl is and personally thank her. Because like, she got me like, a lot of interviews and, you know. Do you have an idea you... who it is? Oh, of course I do, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> her name rhymes with Oxy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. 
And now it's not. You have to rat me out. And now, just to make it clear, it's not in case anyone thinks it's someone from my past. It's not her. Like, no. It's, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. It's someone completely different. It's someone completely Some other cunt. No, I'm messing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing. I'm messing. He's like, oh, my phone is going to go off in like 30 seconds, so we're going to have to move. Oh, one second. You grab that and stick it in really quick. Okay. How are you, George? You good? I'm doing good, Thomas. How are you? I'm good, yeah. No. Good okay, good. Have a good day. No. Oh, we sit, sit in the bed, sure. There you go. Is that even charging there? No yeah. Okay. Ugh. This is trying to I, get I love the art on the wall. Thank you. I do put it there. <laughs> <laughs> this is That's so awkward. <laughs> right there, we got. There you go. Yeah. It's not there in the end. It just flashed up thirty seconds left before it goes off. So like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So as I was saying, like she got attacked for like getting my house raided, and she got uh, uh, threatening the messages for getting my page taken down, and she had nothing got to do with nothing it. Nothing at all. Like whatever is who's this now? Us, like that's just pure stupidity and badness. You know, there's no need for it. Like, People are so Who's quick. Who's getting the abuse? Uh, Sinead. Okay. Yeah. People are so quick to jump to conclusions like that. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, it's, yeah, of course. It's yeah. fucking... Yeah. But if you don't know a person's personal life and you're just thinking, okay, who, who might not like him? Oh, it was a woman. Okay, well, he just had a breakup. Yeah, you know, I know. You've got to draw the lines. It, it's not very intelligent, but, you know... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, people are, I don't know. People Basically, just, they treat it like a whole drama series. Yeah, yeah. They do. That's well, I suppose of... because they can't tell real life from from, from Frank. Frank, so yeah. it's like... Yeah. Mm. In, all, in all fairness, if you're getting caught up in the, the drama of uh, Farmer Michael, it's a bit... Come on. Yeah. yeah. No no offense, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, people, people, there is obsessive people out there, like, yeah. sadly. You, you go there to laugh, and that's it. Like, no. one of the things Stephen said to me, I think it was the second night, was welcome to the madness of Michael. Yeah, and I told you everything would be open to being pilloried and attacked. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. But, you know, there's still a positive. You make people laugh. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. It's not all negative, obviously. Like, yeah. this is you make people laugh. You, you meet childhood heroes and famous people, and you get, like... You get to chat regularly and tweet fucking celebrities and people you've admired growing up and stuff. So like, the, and obviously doing the live shows and the feedback, like there is, there is, yeah, you know, the positive outweigh the negatives. Mm. Okay, there's one post you have there, and it's like that time I went one round with McGregor, and uh, did, didn't he comment on it or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me sitting in the wheelchair outside the National Rehab Hospital, and then I got criticised for that mocking his catching, and it's like. I use a fucking wheelchair. What do you want about? Like, oh fuck off! You know, yeah. I, I don't think people realize that because I didn't know that until I talked to you. Yeah, a lot of people don't. A lot of people before I investigated. They just take the face value of the character and they never like kind of look into who I am or anything. And it's like if you Google search and there it is, you know. Yeah. But it's strange. But now all the Google search terms are Michael and Kathleen split, Michael and then separate, uh, split up, broken up, blah blah blah. That's the yeah common search terms on Google, so it's like, yeah. Well, another, uh, you know, Farmer Michael arrested, Farmer Michael, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Farmer Michael got a uniform. Farder, Farmer Michael shoot out with the armed response unit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 18 people killed. <laughs> Michael is still barricaded inside the house shouting at everyone, you can't. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> and you know, actually, I find, I find it funny if, if you did make a uh, skit after, about. Uh, you should make a skit about that. Just steal. A no, not that. Ball. About getting raided by guards. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I got an RUC uniform sent down from the north, so I just thought that was really funny because, like, uh, if you want to let me play a guard, then I'll play your like mortal enemy, an RUC officer. You know. So. Well, there you go. Hello. Yeah. Oh, oh you were back. You were the yeah. That's good. Yeah. And, um, you know, YouTube's been growing. You've been figuring yeah. out how to keep at it. All's yeah. going well. Thank, thank the Lord. But what's coming up now in the future? You know, I'll, maybe a month ago, I would have said we're coming out of uh, COVID, but I don't know. What, what's, yeah. what's it looking like for you in the future now with keeping the show going, keeping well, the skits? 
we'll keep doing our sketches and keep yeah plowing on and try different things as well and see what works what doesn't it's all trial and error because obviously you have to change with the times and you have to kind of reiterate stuff and you have to i suppose that that horrible word of like uh not even regenerate what's the word reinvent reinvent yeah Yeah. madonna the queen of reinvention you know (laughs) so you have to kind of you have to be always willing to you know know when certain kind of ways of doing things might upgrade it and have to change but not but not change as in like go pc or anything with michael even though in my eyes (laughs) in my eyes he's pure pc anyway because like it's satire like I can see through it, but maybe some people can't at times. But yeah, and then just, I suppose, add a few more shows to the May dates in the UK and hope for the best. If it has to be cancelled or postponed, then so be it. But we'll aim for it and hope that it goes well, you know. Yeah. yeah. And with yourself, Roxy, what, what's the plan as well? Same as, or do you have anything solo coming? Tag along. No, basically same as, really. Yeah. Just hold them tight and see what yeah. happens. It's all we can do and try and make people laugh. Yeah. Yeah. And Basically. some of them cry. Probably more cry than laugh, to be fair. Oh, well, <laughs> we made a few la- we made a few cry with our Christmas videos. Our yeah, John we Lewis did video. actually. So that was I don't know if you've seen the John Lewis style video we did. And a zero yeah. yeah, it's uh when I watched the back and I was editing it and now I'm crap at editing, but I managed to clip it together kind of well, I thought myself for the first time ever doing it. And I'm on an app on a phone and I added the music and it was, uh, what was the tune? Nothing else, Matt. No. That was the second one. Use, use somebody, but it was Skala and Kalachny, the Swedish choir no. version, which is powerfully depressing. Like, so, well, so, so we put that to it and it was in all the newspapers and stuff and news sites and things. And it like it, I actually felt emotional watching it back. I was like, Jesus, we ha- we have something here. So yeah. it kind of it was out. very real. The response was amazing. Yeah, yeah. it was just about isolation at Christmas. Like, dead, obviously, a character, an old man, and just going down to the pub, but no one's in the pub, and he returns home. Then, and I, it's just I, I was told about that actually. Yeah, it's just kind of yeah, it went. I suppose viral. I suppose, but it's nice to be able to put out something that touches people, you know, in a different way than trying to make them laugh you know yeah yeah get a kind of message across as well and and i don't even drink like so you know but but i suppose that it was the the essence of you know isolation that a fella that would go down and only have two pints but he usually he goes down to chat to fellas and that's that's his only so that's, that's his, his only, only has, social yeah. outlet but, you know so you have to feel for that you know that is actually pretty damn awful yeah like the, yeah. the idea that like someone who doesn't even drink just goes down to chat and then can't do, do it. Yeah. Well, the sad thing about it, that is reality. Yeah, yeah. Right, there yeah. is a lot of poor older, older generation yeah. that even, does go down, even for that one, one point. One or two, or, or, yeah. To yeah. go down to watch the match. Even. Like my dad used to. He'd only have yeah. like two or three pints and he'd always come up. And I'd never seen him like drunk, you know yeah. what I mean? So that was his kind of social outlet. And yeah. It's kind of taken now, isn't it? You know, and a lot of, yeah. and a lot of o- older lads like, They'd only go to a wet pub. They wouldn't go to a gastro pub or something like that. That wouldn't really be for them no. or a place where there'd be music. That you know, they wouldn't mind music at the end of the night, but not constantly through it. They're quiet mm. and it's like myself, even though I don't drink. I'd rather go to an old box pub where it's silence. And I talk love to going people to the and hear people and chat to people and they're friendly people. You know, people are friendlier and you have a chat to an old lad's bar. You know, it's you it's so them. it's so alien, isn't it? Like that we, yeah, we can't do that like stuff anymore such a very Irish thing as well like having an old chat yeah. about something or something you'd find in common like there's a match on or whatever and you have a chat with some stranger from Waterford or something you could chat be chatting to him for an hour you know what I mean and it's yeah. there's a nicety about that and there's a closeness and a humanity about that yeah yeah it's a beautiful thing the Irish pubs it's a beautiful yeah. thing yeah and yeah before they close again I'm going off to take the dad there tomorrow uh, you know every other time was booked except two o'clock yeah. Yeah. So it'll be early pints yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. and sandwiches, the nine euro sandwiches. Yeah. 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 Just order them, leave them aside. Yeah. What was it? He said to me, You eat all the food, I'll have all the pints. So that, that's a fair deal. That's yeah. a fair there deal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And sure, like you, you were saying a second ago when you're editing your videos, are you saying you do it all on your phone? Yeah. 
you it all on your phone. Yeah. How have you gotten? To, no offense. How have you gotten to this point, and you only edit on your phone? I that's, couldn't. That's amazing. Amazing. I wouldn't be able to lip sync it. I wouldn't be able to do anything with it. Like my videos are pretty simple, so they're that's easy to edit. It's just chop and change the beginning and pop a few clips together. And obviously, if you're putting any sound effect, you download, you rip it from YouTube and just add it in as an audio in the background and turn up or down the volume. But like, obviously, the the John Lewis style one was a bit different because mm. there was, I think, there was I something like sixty separate clips. Yeah, and I cut that down least. to thirty-seven, and then you had to obviously edit, snip the beginning and end of them, and try mm. and place it where the music could come in. So it was just trial and error. It took me a while, but we got there, and then I played it, and I was like, "Yeah, we can definitely have something here." So it was nice, and it was, I was proud enough of that. Yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah. Well, it was brilliant. The second one as well. Yeah, we done another one then about uh, a guy losing his job at Christmas and afraid to tell his wife, and that was Scal and Clashney as well. But that it was their awful. their version of nothing else matters. So. We thought that was pretty apt for the the moment, the moment and the situation. Situation, yeah. Yeah. Good lord, it's such a dreary time to be alive. Oh my god, oh, isn't course. it though? She's like, I work in Dunn stores, and I was only saying to you earlier, this year, this Christmas is the first time ever that there's still selection boxes there. Yeah, and, oh. and hundreds of boxes like, of celebrations and. Yeah. Like, our warehouse, everything is full of all these, even the cheap little ones. Yeah. Usually, they're all gone by the beginning of December. The first week of December, there's no selection boxes left. They just raid them there all. There's so much Christmas the stuff that come we in. can't even get rid of. Farmers come in for the first week of December and take them yeah. all. They have to buy them all for their sheep, which is tough. It's sad. It just shows that there's no Christmas fear at all this yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. Well, it still feels we're, like, in March. Like, feels like we just never left March. Well, for me, anyway. But, like, it, it's a big, long, dreary I'm March. still waiting for Paddy's Day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went in there square and Paddy's Day, and I done a little, short little video. I think it was about five seconds long, and I just went, I just went like that along Air Square, and there was zero people there. <laughs> where, where usually there'd probably be, what, 50,000 more. Oh, you know, yeah, it's, definitely. It's incredible. Like. It's just god awful. <laughs> I've been yeah. trying to. Keep it Christmassy with this little lad here. And Tom yeah. has his lights behind him. He's going to jump off that radiator in a few minutes. Oh, yeah, keeps moving, man. You, you, you should see it. Like he, <laughs> we, we had a voice actor on from the new Call of Duty. And the whole time he was here, is, is that Yoke moving? <laughs> Every si- like I'm trying try, try to ask him these genuine questions. Like, oh, what was it like being involved in the game? Is that Yoke moving? It's like a proper elf on the shelf situation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God! He's, he has a knife. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you be starting. Oh my God. He's getting closer. He's getting yeah. closer. <laughs> there you go. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know about it. I can't think. Cause <laughs> yeah. you get that sensation that someone's behind you. You know when you get that, you can convince yourself yeah. about that as well. I yeah. used to do it at home when I'd be alone at night watching uh, TV in my sitting room. Yeah. And you think about it for if you think about it long enough you'll get that feeling. You can recreate that feeling that there's someone behind you and then you have to fight the temptation to look. It's the weirdest thing. Oh, you know, when you're downstairs and it's late at night and you're the only one there and you just turn off the lights and you bolt up you the stairs. Because the monster you're, will get your legs. You're fully convinced. That <laughs> monster will get your legs. And you know why I can't walk? Because that monster got my legs. <laughs> <So> <laughs> all the that morning. I mean, that, that, that should be a skit. I, I, I love that. Yeah. That's beautiful. I should, have, I should have said it was actually the, the end of the feast, feet out the end of the bed one that got me. That's <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's awful. That's awful. Okay, yeah. I'm mocking my set. <laughs> I, can, I can mock cripples, you can't. Aye. Uh, I've never been known to do it, in all fairness. <laughs> you should start, it's hilarious. And they can't yeah. chase you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Your people in wheelchairs are used to getting pushed around. How much more have you got? I, I just, <laughs> always, just roll off my yeah. wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. I'll what, stop that. What, what, what's it been like trying to get a you know material uh, for yourself, Roxy? Like, as in being a comedian, have you guys been writing together for the shows, or what, what uh, have you been doing? Or have you started? Kind of knew that come up with an idea, but she'd like. 
Well, no, you've come up with a few ideas. Yeah. Well. well, when it's the Michael ones, it's usually me, but you... Yeah, but for the Mary Bridger like, kind of ones, yeah. We were yeah, like, about. I wouldn't be a control freak. I'd always, like, do you think we should do that, or did I say that, or should I say this? So there's always... I like input. Yeah. Because, obviously, two heads always work better than one, and she watches a lot of videos on Facebook and YouTube, whereas I wouldn't. So I might be out of the loop of what's kind of... Current the flavor of the and day, and like yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'd know football, politics. She'd know all the other kind of stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? So sure, football and politics. What else do you need? You yeah. bring that to you bring that to a pub, and you're you allowed everyone's listening. To it. Yeah, yeah, and a bit of philosophy, but it's hard to squeeze Nietzsche or Wittgenstein Whereas, into a sketch. Like I'm very close to my father, so I can and me and my dad, we have this like bowed relationship. Anyway, so I can kind of like bring stuff like that into it, then be like, right. Yeah, like the yeah. whole tampon situation. Yeah, the awkwardness when Mary of like wants to get tampons. Yeah, the whole awkwardness of like fathers around anything got to do with like women's things. Things, you know, it's like or the boyfriend situation. Do you know what I mean? That boyfriend when you did, that boyfriend when you did, or what was it? I don't know. Was it the boyfriend thing? Um, what was the boyfriend one? I think it was. I, yeah, I laughed my ass off so fucking hard. That. And I sent it. I sent it to so many people. It was just hilarious. I just enjoyed. I enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed almost pulling the inner racist, not racist, but the inner ignorance out of people that like, oh, he's going to say it, and then no, because he's English. Yeah. And then they were like, <laughs> oh, it's it's almost like teasing, teasing that inner thing. Because it's, it's like it's like the expectation of what you think he's going to say. Yeah. yeah. And like it's nice to tease that out of people, and they're like, and then you don't say it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then you get yeah. the added kind of thing, English. Oh yeah, we're Irish. Oh yeah, we hate the English. Yeah, yeah. You know. So that must be weird of, for like Americans watching. Yeah, yeah. We were gonna say Mayo first, but a lot of like the English and stuff wouldn't even get that. Ah, yeah. they would. It depends. Like they love the nineteen years one, and that was about the GEA. It was about all of yeah. Waterford and the All Ireland. So. Yeah, so it it can work, you know, because people relate to a sports team, you know, vibe. <laughs> they could just, you know, you, you often see retweets and it's like, this would be us watching the Broncos, you know, because you, you can relate to it. Getting like, overexcited for your team winning or being despondent when they lose, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had a question, but like just. It's gone. It's gone. Thomas, do you have any left? <laughs> No, I pretty have everything. Yeah, I'm good. Your part of me doubts you had any. What? What? No, I had some stuff. So. Um, He'll just say, like, oh, no, you asked them all. You, I was going to ask that, uh, that. Yeah. You know, Jared, I, you, I, you know, you asked them all, really. I was going to ask that, but, like, sure, it's gone. See, that's it. That's, that's time gone there. Like, every single one of those. I'd start eating the page. Then, but, like... <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose that, that's it, lads. Um, it's not much else. I can spring it. Anyway, thanks oh, yeah, for watching. Ask, oh, hold, hold on. I was going to ask uh, <laughs> where your biggest demographic is. Because um, you find with YouTube, uh, like a lot of Americans tune in, and there's more Americans obviously on YouTube watching everything than will be yeah. Irish or English. So, what's your biggest demographic so far? On Instagram, it'll be a mix of UK and Ireland. On Facebook, it'll be UK, Ireland. On YouTube, it'll be uh, US, UK, Ireland on Twitter be primarily UK. Yeah. Do you get any weird ones in there? Things you don't expect? Uh, Germany would be kind of third, fourth on a lot of them. Mine was Brazil, which I find very odd. Can't do Brazil. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and obviously then South Africa and Australia and New Zealand and yeah. German speaking, or English speaking places like that. Yeah. Well, do Australians speak English? I don't know if that's stuff for the I don't know. Should it even real? Like, people... I don't, that's I don't, the whole thing with Australia. It's like I don't real, like. buy into it the whole... No, it's like Longford. It's a myth. Yeah, it's created yeah. by the Beatrum Tourist Board. I mean, let's be honest. Have you actually ever been to Ross Common? Yeah, my father's from there, so I was there lots of times. <laughs> nah, you weren't. You were just told that. Nah, you were actually <laughs> in Fermanagh. I was actually in the poor part of Mayo. <laughs> Man, Mayo is such a cool place. It actually is. It's not the worst yeah. place. Yeah, we went for a little uh, staycation up there, so it was nice. And it was nice. You just get the out of the way like, for the place used to be a guy's house, and this place. What's it called? 
Breffy House. Breffy House, yeah. It was actually a guy's house when we were walking Breffy around. Or like, Breffy. I don't know how to Breffy or Breffy, yeah. Breffy. But like, we were walking around going, like, this was a guy's house. Like, Jesus, you know. Yeah. I wonder how many Irish he owned. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because it's true. <laughs> uh, all right. I suppose we're finished. So, you know, Steve and Roxy, th this has been great fun. Um, Thank you. If people want to check you out, where can they find you? Uh, Instagram and Facebook and all that. It's Sir Steve o Timothy official and you at Roxanne Goldby. Uh, Roxy Goldby. Roxy Goldby. Roxy. On Instagram and Roxy Goldby on Facebook. And I get my kid off uh, every Friday at eight o'clock. No, he doesn't. I do. I go to bed usually at that time. Nice. Yeah, well, there you go. You're not going to get any more. These are just factual anymore. announcements. I will. All the, the middle-aged women that seem to like me. Oh, Jesus. This is where I go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. And uh, if, anyone, if anyone's gotten to this point in the video or uh, audio, make sure to check them out. Have a good one and take it handy. Top of the morning, lads and ladies. Support for the Off the Irish podcast is now brought to you by Manscaped, who is the best in men's below the waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels, and you'll no longer need the look of the Irish with the ladies. Make every day feel like St. Patrick's Day for your balls with Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code IrishPod at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped and use code IrishPod. Use the right tools for the job and trim your pant potatoes.